Hello everyone, welcome back. In this presentation, let's focus on the relational algebra solved problem. We have few problems to solve, which will be definitely helpful for people who are preparing for the gate exams or any other competitive exams. Let's step into the first problem. The question is, given the relations, employee relation and the department relation. Employee relation has three attributes, name, salary and department number. Department relation has department number, department name and address. What is the question? The question is, which of the following queries cannot be expressed using the basic relational algebra operations? The basic relational algebra operations are listed here. This question was asked in Gate Computer Science in the year 2000. The options are Option A, department address of every employee. Option B, employees whose name is the same as their department name. Option C, the sum of all employees' salaries. And option D, all employees of a given department. We can easily answer this question. The reason is, the sum operator is not there in the relational algebra operations. I mean the basic relational algebra operations. The basic relational algebra operations include the select operation, the project operation, the union, the set difference, Cartesian product and rename. We don't have any exclusive operator in the basic relational algebra operators for performing the summation, isn't it? And hence, option C is the right answer. However, I'm gonna solve this for all the other options A, B and D so that we will also be proficient in understanding how to write the relational algebra expressions when a question or a statement is given. At first, let's keenly analyze the question. What are the given information here? The first one is the employee relation with these three attributes. The second one is the department relation with these three attributes. Now we are going to write the relational algebra expression for all these options. If we are able to do it, then the following queries can be expressed using basic relational algebra operations. For any of these options, if we are not able to write the relational algebra expression, then that's the right answer for this question because the question is that cannot be expressed using the basic relational algebra operations. Let's take the relations and the options in a separate slide. Here are the relations, the employee relation and the department relation. And the options are option A, option B, option C and option D. At first, let's start with option A. What we are going to find in option A? The department address of every employee. If you see, the employee information is here and department related information is in the department relation. And the question is, we want to know the department address of every employee. So the employee name and the department address of that particular employee should be in the output. But unfortunately, Employee name is in one relation and department address is in another relation. No worries, we can combine these two tables, isn't it, or relations. How? Using the basic relational algebra operation, the Cartesian product. First, if we do the Cartesian product, we will get the complete information about all the employees along with all the department information. Say, for example, if employee relation has four tuples and department information has five tuples, four multiplied by five. 20 tuples will be there in the output. It's the complete output where every tuple is going to be associated with all other tuples of the other relation. If you are directly watching this lecture, I request you to watch my previous lecture to understand about the basic relational algebra operations. After we get the complete output, what we are going to do? We are going to match this department number and this department number. So, I'm going to select the employee relation, I mean this employee relations department number, which is this, is equal to the department relations department number, which is this. So this will exactly give you the complete information of an employee that includes name, salary, department number, department name and address because select will give the complete row, the complete tuple. However, we want only the department address of every employee, isn't it? So from this whole output, we can just shortlist only address or even name comma address to retrieve the department address of every employee. So option A can be represented using the basic relational algebra operations, the project, the select and the Cartesian product. So option A is not the correct answer. Let's move on to option B. 
which is employees whose name is same as their department name. I mean employee's name should be same as their department name. So what we are going to retrieve is the name of all employees whose name is same as their department name. So already we have used this. Here we are going to retrieve only name. In the previous query we retrieved address. Whereas here we are going to retrieve the name. And not just this condition. We need one more condition where the employee's name is equal to the department name. Isn't it? So the output goes like this. Where we are going to perform the same Cartesian product like this. So we get all the combination of the rows in both the relation. And we are going to retrieve the employee relations department number is equal to the department tables department number which is like this. And we need one more condition. What is the condition? The employee's name is same as their department name. Employee's name is equal to department name. If these two conditions are matched then we will get the list of all the tuples of all the employees where the department name and the employee name are same. And what we need? We need only the name, right? So we are just projecting only name. So if you observe, option B can also be expressed using the basic relational algebra operations. And coming to option D, what we are going to find? All employees of a given department. So for this, the important thing is all employees of a given department. It means all the employees name of a given department. The given department the user will be providing. So I am just representing it as X. So let's see how we are going to do this. If you see we want all employees of a given department. Isn't it? So obviously we are going to do the Cartesian product. We get the complete tuples from both the relations that are put together. From this we are shortlisting. The employees department number is equal to department's department number. So this will definitely ensure that the exact employees information of both the relation. I mean the name, salary and department number is exactly matched with the department number, department name and address of the other relation. But we don't want that output. We want only a specific department, isn't it? So the department tables, department numbers should be equal to X where this X is user provider, whatever department he wants. That particular department number if we provide here, when these two conditions match, we get all the information of all employees of a given department where this is the output for all the information of all the employees of a specific department and we want only the name of all employees so we can simply project the name. So option D can also be expressed using the basic relational algebra operations. If you want to skip this portion you can skip this however option D can also be expressed using the basic relational algebra operations. And finally, option C, we cannot do this because for performing the sum of all employee salary, we need some aggregate function or an exclusive operator for performing the summation. Where for performing the summation, there is no exclusive operator available in the fundamental or basic relational algebra operations. So it's clear that we need extended operators or aggregate operators for performing option C. Where the aggregate operations includes sum minimum, maximum, average and count. Don't worry about this now. We will focus on that when we see SQL topic elaborately. So for this question, the right answer is option C. I hope it's clear to you. I'll see you in the next problem. Thank you for watching.